The secret place is patient. The secret place is your development. It's lessons you learn while you're here. I can't pretend it don't hurt. When the time comes, God will rise. Hold on to your faith. You are now watching Kingdom Work TV. What's going on, everybody? This is Kingdom Work TV. My name is Antonio, but everybody calls me Bear. I am back, y'all. I'm back. You miss me, I miss you. So, this series that I'm starting is called The Secret Place. And I wanted something to relate to, and relate to my uh, process with God. And I can relate to your process with God. And I prayed on it. And God told me, you know, the round table. I'm like, that sounds hard. The round table? The round table represents unity relationship respect transparency patience and if you want to be a part of this movement with god follow me subscribe to this channel at kingdom work tv all you gotta do is go down to the bottom click hit the notification bell it pops right up and i i, I appreciate that follow me and i follow you and we can build this together so let me get to my first process with God. And it's called the oil press. And I didn't understand what was going on because it's like God was just like, okay, new level, here you go. And when God do that, and honestly, he'd been doing it from the beginning, how I started rebuilding my relationship, even walking to the garden up till now, it's you got to learn how to pivot. When you learn how to pivot, you learn how to trust God. You learn how to embrace the uncomfortableness. The uncomfortableness is not always bad. It's never bad. It's just God getting you out of your shell, out of your comfort zone. So, this is what I wrote. The secret place is where God wants you to receive one thing from me, the oil. Oil is given by God. It's my anointing. The only way God is going to get the oil from me is pressure. The oil is sacred. The oil is fine. The oil is prosperity. The oil is joy. The oil is real grace. The oil is love. The oil is cleansing. The oil is rich. God is going, God began to press me and pressure me on all sides. And y'all, I ain't long keep it a buck. I went to depression. Like I went into depression mode. Because I didn't understand what was going on. At all. And I went to the word. And learned that even Jesus went through the same process. At Matthew 26 and 36. <laughs> And it says, he was in a place called Gethsemane. Then Jesus went to his disciples to a place where, excuse me, let me reread that. Then Jesus went to his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. He said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Gethsemane means oil pressing. I had to learn that I am here. That's the pivot. You're here. You're not rebuilding your relationship no more. You're not in the garden no more. You're in the oil pressing. So I got to learn how to step my game up and be a man on this side and that side. Totally different mindset that I got to be in while I'm in this oil pressing. The oil that require, requires is praying, worshiping, reading, fasting, repentance. And I'll give a few examples. I'm gonna tell you all my business, like I do. So I'm gonna tell you all everything I was going through. I lost everything that was meant, I lost everything that was materialistic. I was dependent on family members and my girlfriend, my brother passed away. The woman I was in love with at the time walked away from me. My father came back into my life, then decided to leave me alone and told me I don't have to speak to him again for the rest of my life. My thoughts was all over the place 
I had a pity party for five months. I was stressed out. I was scared, confused, and frustrated. And it was a lot. It was it was a lot. It, it was a lot. So let me rewind a little bit. My girlfriend, which is now, came back to my life. A woman I was in love with at the time came back in my life at the same time. And y'all like, oh, that's drama. Antonio, you you got no business out here messing around with two women. And I wasn't at all. Wasn't doing that <laughs> whatsoever. Um, a miscommunication that happened where that the woman I was in love with, and I'm saying I'm not in love with my girlfriend, but the woman I was in love with decided to walk away. And my girlfriend, which I have right now, she completely understand what was going on because it was a miscommunication. And now on my end, on both ends too, because me and my girlfriend didn't, right now, didn't, didn't plan on being together. My father came back into my life and it was kind of awkward because he never was there for me. And then we got a chance to really got the talking. And when my, uh, when my brother passed away, things collapsed immediately. And... I was stressed out and frustrated because a lot was going on, a lot was said, and I was really confused about this oil pressing that I didn't know I was in because I was, circumstances was happening around me. Not having a car, living with my mother, not having money. Um, I lost my job. Um, a corporate job, a good paying corporate job. Um, like I was just in this hole and I got depressed and I was losing weight and everything like that. And I gained all the way I lost. I gained all of that back. Real talk. And this what happened to me. I was encouraged by a pastor that I seen on Facebook and that, and, and he said, <sighs> I was encouraged by a pastor that I seen on Facebook and what he said hit me like a ton of bricks. And I sat on the edge of my bed and I began to worship God and began to tell God that I can't carry this burden anymore. And that day I began to fast and ask God to align me with his will. And how can I rest in the Holy Spirit? And this is what God told me. In his words, Matthew 11 and 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burden, and I will give you rest. I, I And this oil processing that I was in, I had to learn to give it to God. Once I learned to give it to God, I ain't say things begin to change because that was a lie. I ain't even say I began to really rest in God. But I was learning a new step, a new path, a new option, a new choice. And God was in every last one of them. And it's something I had to tell myself each and every day when I started that process. Stay committed, stay present, and stay confident.